what's up guys welcome to the stream i am red slasher x thank you for coming to the live twitch this is take two youtube this is take fucking two i asked i asked them and i get trolled by my own chat fuck um again we're doing top 10 heroes or heroines from dc comics i'm more of a marvel fan but there's some pretty nice bitches in this one if you're on youtube please leave a comment below if you're on twitch put your own top 10 i'm gonna see what it is i don't give a damn this is watch here we go top 10 and we replay whatever i just said zan or zatanna whatever zatanna from injustice gods from among us if you've never played the game it's a pretty fucking game fun game after all the balances and all the patch you got fixed before people killed it off so early the game was really really fun she is a blast such a tricky character such a mind right so after i played the game i want to learn more about her i went to justice league stuff she's in a couple comics i watched she's in a lot of the batman cartoons really fucking cool character uh you can't hate magic characters they're a little different the magic the sorcery those the mythical one there's a little bit out there they're kind of hard to fuck with they will blow your mind a la dr strange and marvel about the same over here. It's a lot of demons, a lot of crazy shit. She does all of her spells back, but saying the shit backwards, I believe. Pretty cool. Uh, so she's number ten for many reasons. She's a she's a magician. She got a nice ass. Um, and she does a lot of stuff with Batman and the Justice League. So I really, when I watched the first time, I was pretty cool. Like, oh, this girl's badass. And I started to fall in love with her little by little. It's because she had a fun character she was in Justice. And then after that, she became one of my top tens. Just from a game I play. A lot of shit's going to come from the games I've played, comics i read, or from the cartoon. If I see it, I went, oh, this person's badass. I don't know a lot about their backstory. So it's pretty cool. So if you think I'm going to go through backstory, you're all fucking on crack. I ain't going through the backstory. Number nine. Uh, part of the uh, Batman crew... Jason Todd, aka Red Hood, uh, he's the one that Joker killed. If you didn't know that, spoiler alert. Uh, if you're gonna watch Batman vs Superman, he might be the Red Dead Robin with all the writing on it. Sorry, another spoiler. If that's a spoiler, I'm sorry. Read the fucking comic, okay? He's pretty cool. He's, he is the anti-hero of Batman. Batman will break your leg. He will break your leg then shoot you in the mouth. Red Hood is pretty fucking amazing. You gotta... He's on the badass Batman. Now, Batman is, like, up here. Red Hood, I think he's around... I mean, you got Batman, Nightwing, Batwoman, Batgirl, Robin, Batwing, the black dude, and Red Hood. You have all these Batman characters. Red Hood is probably the most hardcore out of all of them. Kill you. He will fucking kill you. He don't care. He's a hero that will shoot you. Just being legit about it. Uh, play the Ark. I think it's one of the Arkham games. I don't think it's the last one, was it? I think it's the one before the last one. Maybe, I'm not sure. He's in, a, he's in the Arkham Knight game. He is awesome. Such a good character to play against. So cool. Uh, he's uh, not really in a lot of the... Check his comics out, of course. Check a lot of some of the Batman movies. Like Batman Red Hood. So, he's number nine. He's a badass. He kills you. He will fuck you up and you should see how the joker destroys him and all that shit he got brought back to life by the lazarus pit Lazarus pit, yeah by a pit it's pretty cool i like him that's all uh so that's number nine number eight now again i'm not going to just tell y'all life stories about these guys you gotta figure that shit out number eight there's an eight ball right there oh wrong guy beast boy Teen Titans. Not Teen Titans Go. Not that bullshit. Fuck that show. That show is fucking garbage. I'm talking about Teen Titans before that Teen Titan Go shit. Beast Boy was the shit. Him and Cyborg were hilarious together. The comics, he's awesome. And um you don't get you get to play as a Beast Morpher in the DC I think is it just not Justice? Um DC Universe uh, MMO. You can play as his powers. He's so cool. He can transfer to any goddamn animal. Alien animal. Any animal. So cool. So bad. There's nothing worse 
Then getting your ass kicked. It's better to talk to the elephant and just sits on you and you're just SOL. All right. Yes, Teen Titans Go is where Teen Titans Go is where uh, Teen Titans died. Teen Titans, the original one, was so much better than Teen Titans Go. Teen Titans Go was ass. Fuck that show. That show needs to be deleted off the face of Earth. And that Cartoon Network still plays and going, we should play this stupid ass shit. No, no, no. Sometimes your cartoons need to have a little bit of adult in it. Not spazzy, stupid shit for ADD kids. Okay? Fuck that shit. Number eight. Baseball. Cool shit. Transform any kind of animal out there. And if you can transform to an animal, that's pretty badass. That really is pretty fucking cool. All right. I mean, that's pretty neat. He's really, uh, I mean, agile as a non animal, anyways. He does a lot of fun stuff. Don't. You can't hate on this game. You really can. It's part of Teen Titans, which is a really good comic book. Read it. You'll love You'll like it. It's, it's, it's so cool. Um, number seven is part of the Superman franchise, of course, and that is Supergirl. Don't ask me to get her name, because I have no idea. I think she's the cousin of Superman. Now, there's a TV show out there on, I think, CBS called Supergirl. I really don't give two shits about it. I don't really don't like the DC TV shows. They look a little too fucking corny for me. Uh, the Marvel TV shows know what they're doing, but again, they're getting their fans out there, and it's pretty close to the uh, comic books. You go check them out. What's up, Chris? How you doing, homie? Uh, so, yeah. Supergirl, pretty cool. Really, really strong. I like her because she can't control her anger. And she's like PMS girl. Which gives what I wish Superman sometimes just want to... I mean, he has in the comics. But most times, Superman's your little goody-goody bitch. Like, I don't do this. I stand for... Like, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Fuck you. I, I'm going to tell you right now, Superman's not on my top ten. Fuck Superman. Not because he's a badass. It's because he's... He's like the greatest thing ever. There's really no one that can beat Superman. That's why he's not on there. But this girl was cool. She has a really good. Um, you should check her when she got the red ring. Oh my! When she, when she turned to a, ran, a red lantern, that comic series was amazing. Be oh my god! So much anger, so much violence. It's awesome. All right, and of course she's sexy. You all know that already. Read that comic. Read her. There's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of growing pains with her. So she. I mean, you're actually going to go like, oh, this is cool. Now you have more of a girl side, so you know there's a little bit more female things in there. But it's a good character to actually read up on. Her life story is a little bit weirder, and she goes through some shit. And it's nothing worse than that your cousin being Superman and have that giant shadow over you. You just gotta try not to make him look bad. Yeah, that's what she that's what she goes through. Cream. Alright, number six. Part of the Batman slash Teen Titans franchise. Dick Grayson, aka Richard Grayson. He's just being a super dick. Uh Nightwing. Uh a big fan of him. I played him in Injustice a lot. Really cool character. I like how he try he keeps on trying to get out of Batman's shadow, but keeps on coming back. He is the original Robin. The only Robin I, I take that back. Damien's not bad. Red Hood is pretty cool, but Nightwing, he's the original dude. He's the original bo uh, boy that Batman fucked. Don't be honest. We all know there is just a look. You know Batman was Michael Jackson before Michael Jackson was Michael Jackson. Y'all know that. Y'all should know that. Uh, but Robin, not Robin. Nightwing, again, he went off his own little thing, tried to his own little city, all that shit. Keeps on coming back to Gotham. Keeps on coming back up in Batman. He did have his own little team on Teen Titans. Pretty cool, dude. I mean, he had an injustice. He's so strong in injustice. He has a hell of a combo game. He'll rush the shit out of you. Oh, so broken. There we go. Y'all know who it is. So, yeah. Uh, he does have a... Um, he has double sticks. Or he has a giant pole. And his combo game in Injustice was just fun. You just like playing him, dude. Pick up the game and play him. You'll have a lot of fun. It's really simple. He has a lot of... Uh, he can zone you out. He can combo you. Pretty neat. And he can... Uh, he can pretty much whip your ass. So there's a lot of stuff he can do with it. I gotta refresh my Injustice thing. Again, the Nightwing, the original Robin. 
can't get out of Batman's shadow. He keeps on going back. Now, if you ever have a chance to read up currently on Nightwing, look him up now. He's a he's a double A. He's a, a hidden agent now. His story went a little weird. Everyone thinks he died and all that shit. Spoiler alert. Check it out. Read more on him and see his story. His story progressed so much better than what he... He was left off as Nightwing in my brain until the other Robin came. I'm like, oh, I know Nightwing. The more I read on his story, it's fucking... He goes out there. He's a secret agent and just all kinds of shit. Still controlled by Batman. And Batman controls all. Now, number five is from Young... Uh, I think it's from Young something from Young Justice. Now, if you never watched Young Justice, it get, it didn't get a long run like it's supposed to. It got kind of cut off a little short. But that is Miss Martian from Young Justice. Sorry, I had to go hit some. She has everything that, um, oh my god, from uh, the Martian Manhunter has. And that is can read your mind, can literally mind fuck the shit out of you, can transform, has a lot of strength. From Mars. <laughs> I mean, how much more I can do? I just like to pick. I have to have one rule 34 in my thing of all times, and that's just the perfect one little little Marilyn Monroe. She actually looks like a Marilyn Monroe, but a green version of Marilyn Monroe. Pretty cool lady. Uh, she her story. I haven't really read up her story that much. I just fell in love with her when I watched the cartoon. Went, oh, this girl's pretty cool. Um, she has she, part. Of, she does the uh, Young Justice stuff. Little Teen Titans cameos. Um, some Justice League cameos. She, she really isn't the most popular character out there. But she's very underrated and does everything that Martian Manhunter does. If you know what Martian Manhunter is, just ain't that, but cuter. Be on number five. Uh, number four is the original, the original female superhero, the one and only Wonder Woman. She cannot not 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 be in the top ten. She started feminism, okay, in, in comic book world. She's the first bay. She's the first everything. If she's not on my list, I might as well just go hang myself and get it over with. She is the first female. She's number three. You have Superman, Batman, and her. There's three heroes that rule the world. She's one of them. You can say Flash. Green, no, no one gives a fuck about them. Those are the three most important heroes in the DC Comics. It will always be... Oh. DC Comics, okay? Always will be the top top three. Alright, she has to be up there. And yes, her tits are too big, but you know why her tits are big? She's gotten a lot older and they all gonna just keep on storing them. You know how older ladies get their tits get bigger. They don't hers just don't <laughs> sag. And plus she's made by like, right like clay and shit, okay? Right? There's all kinds of shit going on. But she's pretty cool, she's pretty strong. Uh she's super strength. She has like fucking armbands that deflect bullets. She has a lasso of truth. She has a shield. She has so She's a sword and shield user, which is scary as hell in that one. You could play her in Injustice, and she's super strong in that game after all the buffs and nerves. When they balance everything out, she got up there. She started becoming a top five, top ten character. In I mean, I'm being legit. Straight up amazing. And yeah, she's the original. The original. Check her out. Look at her. All that shit. And she started banging Superman. You know why? On that note, you know why she, her and Superman started banging? Other than the comic books went, eh, hey, we're going to make this happen. It's because she would break Batman's pelvis. Superman will break Lois Lane in half by one good thrust. Those two can bang each other. And they both can take the pain. So he can put a little bit more force in her. She's like, ooh, shivers. All right? There you go. Wonder Woman. I just did that. Number three, one of the three heroes that make DC as it is, is Batman. Batman will almost make number one because he is so iconic, but he's not my number one. He's the smartest motherfucker alive. That is a superhero. By night, businessman during the day, playboy, everything you name about Batman. He is what all of us wish we could be. He is so fucking strong. All right, it's so badass. Okay, he's Batman. And on that note, I know they're playing stuff behind me, and I hear it. And I just don't really care. This is live for a reason. I'm cool with that. Uh, they play all that shit they want. Play their sounds. That's what it's there for. 
If y'all get bored, play with sounds for a reason. I don't care. Okay, I don't give a damn. Do do what you want to do. I mean, it's all gonna go to uh, uh, YouTube anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And it's all gonna be uploaded. And I'm gonna probably take out a couple dead dead space. So that's all. But yeah, back to Batman. Now, Batman is number three because there's not. <sighs> Sometimes you're a little too smart for your own good, and when that's pretty much gonna be it. So I mean, let's be honest. He's just, he, I mean, I like like the overpower Look sometimes on that shit. But right now, it's a little Batman. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. This why he's number. He's not number one because of that reason. He's just a little too smart for him. He does control a lot of the freaking uh, Marvel universe. Nightwing, all the Robins, Batgirl, uh, Batwoman, all that shit. Right? Has all that stuff going on. Right, so I mean, he has so much to, so cool. And on that note, we're gonna pause. I'm gonna say it right now, I have one thing with DC I don't like at all. And I'm gonna be honest, as I can be on DC. Their black heroes suck. I'm being legit about it. I'm soft right now. Cyborg it was a good idea, but I feel like they he feels really lame as hell. They need better characters. They really do. I mean, they really need better characters. I mean, they really honestly do. All right. I just feel like that they are fucking up with um. They're just fucking up way too much. I mean, you call races all you want, man. You're unbanned now. I had to time you out because you are taking way too much goddamn time. You too, October. I'm cool with a little bit, dude, but that's just too fucking. Much. Um. You got races all you want, but they're fucking up Cyborg. Now he's getting better each comic book now. He just needs to know. They need to know how to do it better. This is the reason why Marvel has it kind of beat with uh, Falcon and a couple of their heroes that are black. Is that they're doing it right. He's black in a lame ass story. He's a former football player, which is a cool idea. Who almost dies and gets turned to half robot. It's fucking genius, yet they somehow fuck it up. The most blackest character here is Batman. Be it legit. It's because where's all that black and shit. Alright. To be honest. And you know what? John Stewart from uh, Green Lantern, I agree with you. Jig is up there. He's actually a legit one. I actually like him as a hero. And then of course they took him out and they made another white Green Lantern. He was too real. I don't know. I liked him. Plus he was trying to get that Hawk Woman ass. You can't hate on it. So that's number three is Batman. I went on a little tangent there. I do apologize. Number two is another Teen Titan favorite of mine. Raven. You're starting to notice a lot of these Teen Titan characters in there. A lot of my favorite characters are all Teen Titans. They, that was a cartoon other than Batman cartoon that I was fucking I would love to watch. I went to, every time it came on new, I watched it. Alright. Straight up. Uh, I don't know any Asian heroes, honestly. I mean, just being honest. Uh, yeah, you might know Green Lantern's not on here either. I'm not a big fan of the Green Lanterns in general. I like the Green Lantern support cast. I'm not a big fan of the Green Lanterns, except for um, the black one. I'm not gonna be alive. I forgot his name off my head. But other than that, that's pretty much what it is. Raven, Teen Titans, amazing, badass. She has to control her emotions because if she doesn't, she will destroy almost everything. Her whole per personal battle she has with her father, it's fucking ridiculous. How much strength and control she has. Dude, if she just let, if you got her pissed off, she will destroy it all. She's the total opposite of Starfire from the cartoon and the comics. They're like the both yin and yang of, of the Teen Titans. She is that calm collective bay. I ain't gonna lie, I call her a bay. She is amazing. On a personal note, if she busted a nut, will demons come out? So think of that one, let it set, let it simmer a little bit. And y'all explain me why. It won't or it will, because I'm afraid that anyone ever banged this girl and had a kid out of it, someone's gonna die. Back on subject. You can play her in Injustice too. She's pretty strong in Injustice. Uh, not as I take that back. She's not that good in Injustice. 
Has a nice little setup. So a lot, a lot of uh, zoning, a lot of poke. Not really big on the combo. A little bit of damage. But she, she's fun. She's fun to play. Um, and then that, there's really... Just read her comics. She's really interesting character. Really cool backstory. The Gohan of DC. I like that. She is the Gohan of DC Comics. You don't want her angry. She'll Super Saiyan your ass. I like that. That's a good one saying that. That's a good one. And I would bang her. You're damn right. All right, that's it. Now, number one is going to be totally, totally outfilled, out of the no – it's out of nowhere, okay? No one's going to know who this bitch is. And if you know who this girl is, I'll give you 100 stars right now. Star Girl. Star Girl is weird. She doesn't have a lot of comic book stuff. She's really a spare character in the comic books. She really is, okay? But I used to play Infinite Crisis. You're like, what is Infinite Crisis? Infinite Crisis was one of those was the DC MOBA that was trying to take over for League of Legends. The problem is they ran out of money and they fucked themselves over. But Star Girl was my girl. I blew shit up with Star Girl. I played the game so damn much, and if you talk to my homeboy Strike, you know who I'm talking about. No Star Girl fucking is. No one knows who Stargirl is at all. This is why I'm a big fan of my top 10s. Again, as I said at the beginning, my top 10 characters are based on characters I liked that I played in the video game, I seen in the cartoon, or I read in the comics. I played this game on video games. She was awesome. Oh, she's a preppy chillier as hell. Little wand she has, she flies on the wand and shoots lasers out of it, okay? She's like the Lux. Of all things. I'll, I'll go back to one later. Watch for I'll get on that one later. So, yes. Her story is... She's pretty fucking spare. I think her dad had the same powers of just shooting lasers and just being ridiculous. I just gave y'all the wiki in the chat. She has a very sport. Very, very, very spare. She's fucking spare as hell. But she's hot. But that's not the right reason why I have her on there. Because she's hot. It's because in Justice, I played her and I had really fun playing her. And in Infinite Crisis, not in Justice. Uh, she played top lane, middle lane, bot lane, support, shoot the lasers, destroy players. Damn, comes from the staff. Thank you, Jig. You know what I'm talking about. She's a hey, she's she's a kid thing. They're probably at school and all that shit. Um, so pretty much how my school she is. I just a girl. I played her in a game. Fell in love with her. Looked her up. Has a cool. She has a has a really cool life story. If you check it out, I just sit on there. And stepdaughter of what? Pat. And you can go down the list of shit about her. The problem with say is right now, she literally is a nobody. You have to find this girl and study. I'm not going to give you a lot of information on her because I'm like, bitch, I don't have information about her myself. I played her in a video game and fell in love with her. I mean, I had so many damn pictures. That was so cool. I never found her on Rule 34, though. Well, I have, but I'm not going to get on that one. She's probably going to be on one of my top 10 girls to impregnate. I'll try to know that. Who knows there are going to be girls? There might be some guys on there. Ooh wee. All right, that's it. That's my top 10 of characters. I don't have a lot for the last one. I just really fell in love how awesome she was. It's going to be on. What is this? So we're going to read through this top 10 real quick. Number 10 is Satana. Magic girl does tricks. Demons. That's all I need to know. DC Red Hood, uh, the original, uh, hmm, not the original, Jason Todd, the one that died from Joker, spoiler alert, alert, uh, the more hardcore Batman characters will kill people, doesn't care. DC's Bat, ah, Bat, <laughs> Beast Boy, can transform to any animal, alien, or regular, as long as you know what it looks like. Who doesn't want to transfer to animals? And he's fucking hilarious. He's awesome in Teen Titans. Watch. Fucking greatness. I have a lot of Teen Titan characters in there. Uh, Supergirl. Uh, how do we say? Uh, raging bitch with strength. Be prepared. Don't piss her off. She has anger issues. We'll kill all. Nightwing. Another Batman slash Teen Titans slash Injustice character I played. Uh, really cool. He's always in Batman Shadow. Read up the comics. He has a really weird storyline now. He died. He came back. He's undercover. Check that shit out. That's a weird, weird storyline. Uh, Miss Martian came from the Young Justice series. I think he is actually in the comics too, but pretty much Martian Manhunter. 
female version. I like her better than him because she's cuter and looks like a Mel like a green Marilyn Monroe character. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Pretty hot. I don't know how, I don't know how green babies look like. Maybe I'm just a big fan of Marvin the Martian. Huh, who knows? Wonder Woman, the original OG female superhero, the first female superhero, the feminist of all feminist heroes, the one that gave girls a chance to go, you know what? We can be heroes too, motherfuckers. That's who, uh, that's my number, uh, four. Number three, Batman because man over female, I'm a dick. I'm sorry. Batman because he actually is amazing, has tons of little fucking gadgets, is really, really smart, can actually kill if he wanted to. He can stop every hero in the DC Universe. He has a plan for every single one of them. If, Bat if Superman ever goes crazy, guess who has a plan to stop him? Batman. If Wonder Woman is on a PS, is PS, PM, uh, PM asking like a motherfucker, guess who can stop him? Batman. Has a way to stop everyone. Uh, number two is Raven. Bay. Bay Bay. Uh, full of demons her dad stuck in her and all that shit just has to control her emotions or she kills people she don't say kills destruction and the number one a very very left field that's out that's out of nowhere right field left field whatever field it came from fucking past the stadium star girl cosmic power staff uh played her in an infinite crisis had a lot of fun it's nice that's my, that's my top 10, guys. Thank y'all for watching. If you enjoyed the thing, hit that like button. If you didn't enjoy it, hit the like button. If you hate me, hit the like button. Give me your top 10 in the YouTube comments or in chat right now. Thank y'all for watching.